I nearly said, God, it's like my mum. Okay, where are we? Where are we right now? Yes. Pont... I can't remember already. We are in Wales. And we are in a place called... Pont Chemist. Um, assuming that's how you yeah. pronounce it. Pont, Pont Kemis Camping. Caravan and Camping Park. Why are we here? We're here. Why are you asking me? Because this is our this is our longest planned trip before the Mali Rally, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it will yes, be our longest. And the challenge this weekend was to come away for two nights travel a longer distance, longer than we've ever done before, and camp. Right. So, meaning all of the luggage on the back of the bike. Yeah, I think like, so some of these things we've done for preparing for the rally is incrementally augment or grow, increase rather, the distance that we ride in one go. Mm -hmm. So we've done... We went to a few group rides with the boys and then we went to get your seat done. That was probably one of the longest one we did and uh, that broke me like that we that day, like it was quite tiring and, yeah. and everything else, but we, we managed. And then we did a gorgeous ride to, through the new forest to uh, the Deus Lodge yeah. in Bournemouth. And that felt like a really big challenge for me. And me, I must admit, time. I was... I was found stuck. it long. I found it long, even though it was what a hundred miles each way. I found it long e each time. It like... was very, very windy that day, and I think that was that fatigued us. But also, I guess it was just another was another step up from what we'd done before. Um, yeah, so I love that ride. It was gorgeous. Was it was really super, beautiful. super nice. Uh, I never knew Bournemouth was Bournemouth was such a nice area. It was, wasn't it? Okay. Like getting there was nice, and then like the beach, like sandy beach, and like those cliffs and stuff. It was, it was really, really nice. And Dave's lodge was fab. Yeah, great, like bike surfer friendly place. Amazing food. The rooms were nice. Really uh, nice vibe. Just yeah. really nice. We only went there. We didn't even go anywhere else. Yeah, like, that's all we did. Stayed the afternoon, dinner, breakfast. I can highly recommend that. That was a good trip. It was a good trip. And then, and so we did this, and uh, that was already like, oh, okay, that's quite long. But we knew, like, being the, the person who likes to prepare and research everything, like, what the, one of the takeaway from that research was that the Mali Rally is long rides. It's not, like, long distance, but, like, it's 2 to 250 miles a day six or seven hours in the saddle potentially on the on the longest days and everything else so for mm -hmm. us it was more like how do we prepare for this and so this was was the way it's like how do we my idea with that was we should try to go somewhere on a long distance and sleep sleep in less than ideal conditions so camping yeah i think the real test for the night. mali rally is the fact that we've got to get up the next day and get going. I mean, the camping on the Mali Rally is going to be quite Lush. the step up from this, but being able to ride for many hours in a day and then sleep in a tent and get up and do it again, and hopefully this weekend, I'm not sure about the weather, sleep again and get up and do it again. And so already today, this is what double, triple what we've done before. It's Nearly double. Well, if you count like all the little back and forth around here today, it's probably the double what we've done with Bournemouth and the Deuce Lodge. So, how many hours do you think we've done now? I think this? we spent five and a half, six hours like riding with whether, breaks, with breaks, yeah, with breaks and everything. But it was it was a good test. And we've done some kind of fast roads, and it's quite windy again. I think it's the the sustained level of noise. Um, it's something I'm not used to, but then we've gone on like absolutely beautiful little twisty roads here. Like as soon as we hit Wales, it was like stunning and we've been very lucky with the weather too. But the other thing about this weekend is that we were quite prepared to test rainy weather 
we have like hyper focused on what to do if it just chucks it down and I was completely I just had no wet weather gear really I've now got now like you a got rain jacket you can go, <laughs> got, you can like, go in the river there and you'll be dry yeah <laughs> may have swung the other way a bit too far but I've got the little like waterproof boots even because we know that we're not going to take a lot of luggage we're not going to take that like lots That's of changes it, of clothes yeah. there won't be time to dry out like boots if they get soaked one day like if on the first or second day if we get completely drenched you know we need to be able to get back on and, and be comfortable the next day but we have tested our luggage and what it's like riding with like yeah, the full, a weight on the back. The full Krieger setup with all the weights, so all the tents, the sleeping systems. <laughs> well, we have, look, we have chairs and tables. <laughs> and <laughs> Chairs and tables. I think that was one of the things, like if you're sitting on a bike all day, you don't want to be sitting on the floor, like this is not a, a freestanding tent and stuff like that. It's a really good tent. We've got a ton of space to store our gear if, in case it rains tonight, which it might. Uh, so we're good, but it was... A pretty heavy setup on the back of the bikes plus the cameras and and i've and been can i just say i've been like obsessing a little bit about what i'm going to carry like my bits and bobs in you know like i would usually have a handbag with mm. my glasses and my phone and like i don't want to be like piling any everything in our pockets women's clothes don't tend to have such good pockets these are good pockets in these trousers but i just want to say i bought the little to add to the krieger family i bought the little five liter tank bag so t today was the first time um testing that and i love it yeah you were fully set up krieger um <laughs> yeah, i'm trying I'm a little bit of everything I'm a, but uh, i'm a two-wheeled advert for krieger right now you kind of are i think the only thing we don't have is a 10 liter we have everything <laughs> else from them uh, but um no it was it was good um like we had a, a few things done on our bikes as well you passed your first service literally last yeah, night yesterday that was a bit of a crazy um poorly forward planned obviously by me classic not thinking about timelines but the, the nice people at pnh motorbikes near gatwick they fitted my bike in yeah, so that got done yesterday for you, yeah. which was a bit hectic um, but it's done and i've changed the tires yeah. on my bike so we got it's some tires now. now isn't it like done a lot since when did I buy it? End of January. Yeah, you've done more with so it than March, I did on the first year with the interceptor. April, I think. Yeah. February, March, April. So in three months, we've done nearly a thousand miles. That was the goal. I think the goal was to do the rally is fifteen hundred miles. Is to do more or less fifteen hundred miles before. So you know now you found a seat, you found it comfortable, you got oh, you're used to your I, bike. Can I just again, again? I know it's getting boring, but like honestly, my God. So I was, before my new seat, I was getting on the bike and it got to the point that within five to ten minutes, I was already complaining. And now, still after like five to six hours today, zero discomfort. Mm. Like it's the world of difference from like, I can't do it to, you know, yeah. I really enjoyed it today as well. And I'm, we talked about that whilst we were riding. Um, we booked the rally, having never done this kind of distance riding at all before, and me not even having a, a big enough bike really to do it. And then I thought, well, what if we don't even enjoy it? Because we'd only like pootled around a bit like near, mm. near home. I just loved today. The fact that we knew, I knew that we had much further to go. We were going on a really big trip. It was like a proper adventure today. I was, I loved it the whole way. And was not bored really excited about getting up and doing it again tomorrow well there you go but but there was a little gray cloud wasn't there also i've been desperately trying to find comfortable trousers to wear and i find it impossible like the women's range is smaller um anyway i'm tall and a smaller waist size so from an already small range to find something that's tall and a smaller size um, is challenging. So I bought these motor girl, what are they, the Lara cargo? I love them, they're super comfortable, but 
after how many hours was it a couple of hours in is because they're quite like close fitting around the knee with the knee protection in um just suddenly i was in agony in my left knee and it started cramping and it was just like the circulation was cut off at the back mm. so we had to stop and the only way to remedy it was to take out the knee protection which is obviously not ideal i'm a bit gutted actually because finally there's a pair of trousers that fit me really nicely and they don't like start falling down when i'm walking around and they're just really comfortable but that was a problem and yeah. uh, okay. it's, it's really odd that this is a brand for by women for women uh and it's the closest thing you've found so far of good quality gear that is comfortable and can fit your body type but even there is hit and miss <laughs> and so we've been touring a little bit uh the motorbike venues and today uh our goal i guess or well our destination the so excuse we had one, for the trip yeah. specifically yeah. to this place was to come to Bafo house uh, and then we were, we've, I've been talking with them on social media, on Instagram, and uh, they were like, well, we close at five and the kitchen closes at four. And we had to scramble a little bit just to kind of make it on time. So we skipped lunch in a way, yeah. got a little bit aggro and we learned mm -hmm. a few things along the way. But uh, uh, at the same time, we managed to make it just about on time. Before so that's closed. the thing that we, I feel like we keep doing when we're going on longer trips is we keep pushing on to the destination and usually I'm like but I need I need to stop and I need to eat something otherwise my riding just mm. goes to pot and I get angry and frustrated and never yeah I get hungry really quickly and what we have learned on all these long rides is to not let it get to that stage so that's where we had some Snickers snacks yeah I think like this we and then we stopped again. I had a cheeky sausage roll from Greg's. And that, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't like, do that. No. <laughs> that was necessary. I'm too French. Because basically, we didn't have lunch till four. Yeah, but I think we've learned that we could also push through with little sugar boosts along the way. I've learned that I could stop without having a reason for refueling necessarily. And we did that a couple of times just to stretch our legs and kind of have a break and stuff yeah. like that. That was good that we did that, actually, because I didn't feel like I necessarily needed to. But then when we get back on after even just like five, yeah, ten minutes, mistakes, I, yeah. I felt like I was. No, the bikes ride amazingly. Uh, oh, I, I rode amazingly. I more happy with yeah. my bike. It was good. It was a good mix as well. I think last time the mistake we made when we went riding with, with the boys to Bournemouth is twisties every, all the way. It's like for the twisties sake and getting out of London is just... Mm. a drag so i think today we decided to go a mix we wanted to have nice roads that will be like nice sweeps and very kind of fun to ride but also some bits where we would cut through the distance just so that we don't ride in 20 hours to do kind of 150 miles and it was a good balance wasn't it it's like we did a what 25 miles 30 miles of boring like double carriageway but the rest was fast going air roads uh, and really pretty ones. But beautiful ones yeah. with lovely sweeping curves and stuff. And they were no, I don't think they were less beautiful or less fun to ride, yeah. actually. It was nice to be. We had little traffic, very little nice. traffic, so it was quite, kind of smooth. It was fun. And um, yeah, it just made me appreciate that bike because had I been on the 125. Oh, there's no way we could have come all the way here. We no would way. still be like. And this there. is what we wanted. This is why, you know, it was worth getting a bike a bigger bike is so that we could get out of london quickly and come somewhere like this like it's amazing and I'm, I'm really impressed actually we could do this on a two-day weekend not just because this is a bank holiday so yeah sidetrack off to somerset is the plan before we head back maybe should gorge and stonehenge which i've never seen in my life stonehenge uh, yeah that's um, nice so that could be that. Uh, so let's see what's what. But maybe breakfast at Baffle House. The food was nice tonight. Or maybe we were famished, but I don't think so. I think it was really nice. I think uh, it was nice. Yeah. And we were hungry. Super welcoming. Yeah. There's something about anything connected to motorbikes. The community is just yeah. really nice and really um, welcoming. All sorts as well. Like, doesn't all matter. All breeds of riders, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to a nice, good night of sleep. Yeah, having the river next to us. 
That's really awesome. That's uh, lovely. And it cost us absolutely nothing. Well, no, it did cost us something. I know, but I Not think we spent more on food than we were spending on the night. So, so, <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> so uh, what I mean is, like, it cost us something, but, like, for very little money, outside of the petrol. Um, yeah. This is, like... That's the cheapest weekend we would have done so far. Can I just say, when we first met... Uh-oh. When we first met, when we hadn't talked about motorbikes, I don't know if I'd even mentioned that I had my license. I would have pegged us for a couple who were all about, like, nice hotels. Oh, we are? Yeah, but, like, I thought that was... Defining us, I think? I think that was... I expected that of us. Never did I expect that we'd be, like, on motorbikes camping. Mm. And really, really loving it. Uh, You know, uh, after COVID, I think the one to five was liberating for me motorbiking um just riding bikes and then since you had your license just about starting riding together pillion and two of us on a two up on a one to five <laughs> and then graduated That's from there cool. but, um, like looking back like imagining me back then like if someone had said oh this is what you'll be doing i'd be like wow that's cool but i couldn't imagine it i think in two weeks time we're going to see the malik crew in margate for the beach race, unless the weather is absolutely yeah. totally bad, but uh, otherwise that would be our longest ride in one day, I think, if, if this one, because Hello. it's about 120 miles each way, so it will be 240 miles, and then the next morning we go and do the DDR. How many miles have we done today then? 180, 200. Oh, okay. All right, well, if you've been watching all of this blabbering for so long, thank you very much. Um, come and see us into our next adventure to, to be determined uh, but we're ramping up now it's like it's becoming real I think we are a month and a half away from the rally uh, we're two weeks away from the beach race we're hoping to share some stuff uh, with you over there uh, I might start like sharing some shorts quickly as well for short updates sometimes like we won't be able to send that video on Monday like I normally do uh, but yes thank you very much um, like and subscribe, I guess. Uh, comments, comments are cool. Uh, we used to have a lot uh, on certain videos, and then they're not always there. But comments are amazing um, because it's engagement. It means that you want to communicate with us, and what we say resonates with you. So hopefully, um, you would have found that interesting. If you have some questions about what we're doing, ask away. Uh, we're here for that. So thank you if very you have much. Advice, tell us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Advice. We take all the advice in the world as well. So thank you very much. Um, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. You're going to edit that out a lot, right? No. I'm going to keep everything. You talk and talk and talk and talk. No. I talk. You, you talk. can't even say goodbye. You said goodbye and then talk for another five minutes. That's what I do, yeah. I nearly said, God, it's like my mum.